Hey students, you know it well that human reproduces to give birth to babies. But have you ever thought if a human can reproduce throughout their life? Or if they do it in just few phases or in ju they just do it in one phase of life? So how does it happen? Let's understand this while seeing the various phases of life. So like when you were small, when you were born, okay, you were just a small kid. Over a period of time of your childhood, you started to develop physically, emotionally, socially, right? So you started going to school, you started making friends, doing various activities and so much more. Now over a period of time, as the journey of life will go on, you will become an adult. You will become old and so on. So what is exactly this phase? What is exactly this thing actually which is converting you from this childhood to an adulthood? In this lesson, we are going to focus upon this transition from childhood to an adulthood. So this phase when a child becomes adult, when a child becomes adult and reproductively active is what you call adolescence. So we can simply say that adolescence, it is a phase of life where various changes occur in an individual to make it in reproductively mature. Now this adolescence, it can start by the age of 11 and it usually ends by the age of 18 or 19 years. And since this phase it is falling in the age of between like 13 to 19, you can also call this as teen age and adolescents they can also be called as teen agers. But this, in, this adolescence or these changes they may vary from person to person. They may not be same in every person. So like in girls usually the adolescence it starts like two years prior or two years earlier than in boys. So all these changes they may differ. Like I told you there are various changes that occur during adolescence. These changes can be uh, physical, they can be mental or they can be emotional and all these changes they refer to the onset of puberty. So puberty are those occurrence of changes, those physical changes which occur in an individual, which occur in an adolescent to make it reproductively mature. So we can also define puberty as those physical changes such as increase in height, change in voice or maybe appearance of hair in the body and various other physical changes which an adolescent observes during this period. But especially the puberty it refers to the reproductive changes because it is going to lead in to make an individual reproductively active. And as soon as a person becomes reproductively active the puberty ends. So this is what we have just seen in puberty. So by the end of this lesson now you know that all these physical changes which occur in a human's life okay these leads them to become an adult and this adult is now reproductively active to give birth to babies. And this transition from this childhood to an adulthood is what you call adolescence. So now I think you are also in class 8, you must be an adolescent going through the age of this adolescence, this phase. You must be observing some physical, emotional or mental changes in your body. So why don't you try to note these down? Why don't you try to note these physical changes in your body along with your so discussing with some of your friends and see the signs of puberty. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.